Hi everyone and welcome. So today I'm coming on to show you what I have made for the hashtag PBC alphabet challenge. This is a challenge hosted by Hillary who is Pink Bubble Cards here on YouTube. I will link here in the description box below if you'd like to go check out her channel or take part in this alphabet challenge. Um, you'll need to go to the channel to get the prompt. So last week I wasn't able to do it P for pilafs. I actually don't have any pilafs or anything like a pilaf. <laughs> Um, even though I tried to convince my friends that, you know, maybe a sticker was a peel off, but that, uh, that didn't work. So unfortunately I wasn't able to partake. Um, but when I do get some peel offs, I will have a go at playing around with them. Uh, I loved watching everyone else's ideas and things. Um, so this time it was N for night. So, um, I definitely had a plan straight off the back, but unfortunately due to a lot of kids being ill and now... I feel like I'm about to get really poorly. I can hear it in my throat. Um, I wasn't able to fulfill everything that I wanted to do, but I did manage to make something similar and almost to what I wanted to do. So this is what I have actually made. And my original thought was I wanted to make a album, um, but make it in like the form of a nighttime story. Um, so end for night. And that being like, I just received, um, well, I just bought from a do stash, a gorgeous um, pad from Leslie, and it's got lots of fairy tale things in it. So I really wanted to make an album um, for my kids and put them into a fairy tale story for nighttime. So basically, what I've done here <laughs> is made basically a front cover because it's just a piece of foam board. Um, but this is like the image for the front cover that I had. So I guess in a way it's as far as I got, but still it's, I've got the word night night. So I've used the N and I've just done a lot of night time, like sleepy time. Um, I've got this cute little baby elephant, which will like represent my kids floating up in the balloons, past the clouds, past the moon where the sleeping dragon. So this sleeping dragon is a sticker from um the paper pads so i just backed it onto card and then fussy cut it out and just added it to the moon and it's sleeping there this so this moon is actually one of my new um sizzix dies that i got and it come with this flower arrangement i wasn't going to use the flower arrangement but because the dragon was sleeping it sort of has got this sort of gap between the moon and <laughs> its body so i thought i'll use the flowers instead of using another cloud because i've used quite a few of them already and then instead of like leaving it um hollow um i cut it out in one holographic and then again with this gliss paper which came with the paper pad and then i um added this paper in the background which has got like the holographic um dragons and unicorns floating around i thought they looked like you know when the stars make shapes in the sky and it's got stars on it um and then i just added these um holographic purple stars and little gemmies just to make it sparkle and then i just lay a piece of um, clear tool well it's not clear it's like white tool over the top and the paper and then just uh, stitch that on and then i added these um sequins and then where the like everything has been stuck down they sort of have gathered in certain areas so they do move around but they don't all like fall to the bottom so they're kind of like shooting stars or something <laughs> i don't know something like kids like to dream of my um my little girl she absolutely loves it she thinks it's so beautiful and she can't wait to see the rest of it so it's going to be one of those ongoing projects now that um, we're just going to add to and the kids are going to be involved in creating this story and um, yeah it's really going to be a really fun project so this is my make for n for night night um and yeah <laughs> sorry my, my voice is really hurting now so thanks for watching everyone I look forward to seeing everyone else's and um, you can see everyone else's by following the hashtag and um, like I said follow Hillary and then if you want to take part use the hashtag and um, follow Hillary to get the new prompts every Wednesday so 
interesting to see what comes out tomorrow. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.